Hey, today we're going to be talking about optimizing your parts for fiber lasers. Hopefully by the end of this video you have a solid understanding of some of the capabilities of fiber lasers and how they can benefit your quality, your parts, and your final cost of your product. Hey, we're here in the quality assurance and engineering office. Um, this is where the whole process starts. Um, so we can come back and take a look at some drawings on the computer and see what it looks like. Well, right now he's trying to get his computer to work. Insert the dun dun dun. <laughs> Bonnie, can I steal a York? <laughs> we model it up in SolidWorks. You can see the slot and tabs, how the laser cut plate tabs into the actual tube structure. So this is where tube laser and flat plate lasers uh, kind of come together. Like uh, say it should be 180 because there's holes in the face of the tube sometimes. With tab and slot we can prevent that from happening. Gotcha. So it not only does it improve the speed of fitting it up, it also improves the quality because it you can't put the part in the wrong spot. Is that correct? Fewer mistakes. Yeah, fewer mistakes and a higher quality product. So right here this is a 10 kilowatt trump laser. Um, this is like a 1.5 million dollar machine when we bought it. So the machine's basically cutting its own parts. So if you look here, here's the slats that we rest on. What the laser's doing right now is called common line cutting. So if you see the laser is, it's not cutting out the whole square. It's, not, it's actually cutting just a portion and leaving a tiny tab. What this does is this allows us to remove like a, uh, almost like a magazine of parts. Check this one out. We call this a magazine, but if you look, it's got a micro tab. So when we cut it, we can unload this entire magazine from the laser at one time instead of picking each individual part out of the scrap bin. Uh, when the welders go to use it, all they do is they just break off their piece. It makes inventory much easier. So instead of buckets and buckets and buckets of loose parts, you just have a few magazines. We have parts that we used to cut on the old CO2 lasers. Even just switching over to fiber, we cut it six times faster than the old stuff. And that's better than plasma or water jet or oxycetylene. We can hit tolerances that were never possible before on other cutting processes. We're able to hit a tolerance of 0.0004 of an inch or 0.01 of a millimeter. So that's well within most uh, fabrication tolerances. There's very, very few parts that require a tolerance tighter than that. So in front of me, we have quite a few examples of different techniques or different uh, designs you can do with laser. We have micro tabbing, common line cutting, reliefs. We have parts where we've been able to replace a machined operation with just the laser. This one's a combo, it adds reliefs, and this hole is laser cut and then tapped. Here we have an interlocking slot. This one, you have a relief cut for a one inch tube for it to receive it. Here we have laser etching to show where a drill and tap is gonna go. This one is a very large part that would traditionally be cut with plasma and then machine. This one's actually a fan. For quality, this is a slot and tab. These parts interlock and they hold each other to an exact dimension. So this increases your quality. Put them all together, this is like the perfect part. So this part, it increases your speed. You do not have to have a machining operation to add these holes. It increases your quality. They've added release here for an exact fit up. If we had to do this in, as a plasma cup part and then take it over to a machining center to drill and tap it, clean off the coolant and the oil, this would probably take us three to four times longer than it does on laser. So this was all cut out of one piece on the laser. And then each individual flap can be bent up to position. So this, this saves us a tremendous amount of time because otherwise we'd have to cut each individual triangle, try to put them together and weld every single one of these pieces and that's a nightmare. The capabilities of laser now are higher than they've ever been before. We're able to produce parts more accurately, much faster than was ever thought possible. And as technologies such as plasma and oxycetylene slowly become obsolete, I hope that you guys can integrate some of these techniques into your products and at the end of the day they'll increase your quality speed up your production and save your customers money see you next time